Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Over the last couple of days, we have been looking at Ahab and Jezebel, and uh, we finished yesterday's Take 5 by noticing the amazing mercy that God showed to Ahab when this man who was considered uh, that there was nobody else like him in terms of sin, and nevertheless, God stayed, held off his judgment because of Ahab's cries for mercy and professions of repentance. Sadly, however, his repentance did not last. We know that he continued to sin against God and to despise the word of the Lord. And in 1 Kings chapter 22, we then have an, a, an incident where King Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, uh, joined with Ahab, the king of Israel, in order to go to war against the, the Syrians. And uh, before they joined together in this venture, they said, let's get the prophets to prophesy. And all these false prophets came and prophesied that they were going to have an easy victory and a great victory. And then uh, Jehoshaphat said, well, is there, is there no true prophet of the Lord that we can hear from him? And Ahab said, well, there is one guy, but his name is Micaiah, and uh, I don't like him because he always prophesies evil against me. Now, that, that might have been a clue that something was wrong when the only true prophet of the Lord that's around prophesies evil against you. Then maybe uh, Ahab should be looking at himself instead of venting his bad feelings against the prophet. But such has always been the way of kings and tyrants. Anyway, they end off they end up going off to battle and during the battle an archer just let off a, a, an arrow just fired at random that pierced Ahab's armor. And when it pierced his armor, it wounded him grievously, and he began to bleed heavily, and he continued to bleed, and the blood collected round the bottom of his chariot, and later that day he died of his wound. And they took the chariot in order to wash it. They took to a place outside Samaria, a pool of water where the prostitutes would go to bathe. And there, as they were leaving it there to be washed, the dogs of the city came and licked up the blood of Ahab, which was precisely what uh, Elijah had prophesied would happen to him and to his family. And then we're told that after that, uh, after Jehu was becoming king, uh, Jehu, first of all, met Joram, who was the son of Ahab and became king in his stead. And uh, he slew him and left his body to be devoured by the dogs. And you know where this took place? At the very spot of Naboth's vineyard, where the king had uh, so be, uh, used his wife, basically, to, 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 to really perpetrate a really nasty and evil conspiracy to, defraud, to have Naboth killed and defraud him and his family of what was rightfully theirs. And then after that, Jehu cornered Jezebel in uh, Jezreel, and she was thrown down from the city walls. And they said that when they went to try and recover her body, all that they could find was her hands and her feet and her skull. Everything else had been eaten by the dogs. And that tells us that God's prophecy still came to pass because God is not mocked. If we make a profession of repentance uh, and then we fail to follow through and we go back to our old ways, then don't think that, that somehow that's going to enable us to escape the consequences of our actions. Ahab's appeared to make a wonderful and sincere uh, repentance, but he didn't follow through. We've no evidence that Jezebel ever ever repented of anything at all. And in the end, the words of the prophet concerning them came true. Listen, never take for granted God's mercy. 
God is a merciful God. Hallelujah for his grace. But let that grace always be amazing to us, not something that we think we can presume on to return to our old ways. I pray that today that you will not live like the person that you used to be, but you will live like the person that you are, a new creation in Christ Jesus. May God bless you this day as you live for him. Amen. Join us again uh, next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.